Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Let's test our math level today. We need to solve this interesting math problem. A lot of students fail to solve it. We have 5 plus 5 divided by 5 plus 5 times 5 factorial. Okay, but before solving this, I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself real quick. Try to choose one option. We have A, B, C and not a lot of options. So right now, try to solve it by yourself. And right now I want to show you a wrong way how can you solve it. This is the worst way I ever seen because firstly we add 5 plus 5. If we add it we will have we will have 10. Then we need to divide it by 5. I leave it the same. And plus 5 times 5 factorial. The next we divide in 10 dividing by 5 we will have 2. So 2 plus 5 times 5 factorial. Next 2 plus 5. We will have 10, 10 times 5 factorial, 10 times 5 factorial. We know that 5 factorial equal to 120, so it looks like 1000, uh, 1200 right here. So this is the worst way I ever think. This is the wrong way because you need to, to write an order a little bit. You need to look to an order. We, need, we don't need to first add and then multiply or divide. So this is the wrong way and forget this is incorrect incorrect we need to we need to look in order a little bit so this is a correct way second way we need to look about multiplication and division at first if we look in the multiplication and division so firstly what we see we see that 5 dividing by 5 equal to 1 it's really good to know at first that 5 dividing by 5 is equal to 1 so we will have 5 plus 1 and then plus we need to multiply 5 times 5 factorial because we work with, with multiplication and right here 5 factorial equal to 120. So we will have plus 5 times 120. And at first we need to multiply this because we have multiplication at first. If we multiply this 5 times 120 we will have 6. 600 equal to Okay, let's add all of this. We'll have 600 plus 1 plus 5. We'll have 606. This is a correct answer. But before this I wrote incorrect answer. I want to show you the worst approach, the bad approach. How can you solve it? Start with addition, then divide, then add, then multiply. So no order. This is a really wrong way to solve it. You need first look about addition, then multiplication, then addition or subtraction. So this is my my answer. But what about you? Maybe you find another answer, maybe you solve it in another way, in another, another pattern, another approach. It will be really interesting to read about it. And of course, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this brain test. Don't forget to follow my YouTube channel, write something down in a comment. I really appreciate it. And thank you. Have a great day and take care of yourself. See you in the next videos.